Hey, what's going on, people? Bear Fox here, and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can boost your FPS, increase your performance, and reduce lags and stutter in Valorant's new episode 7. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to watch it till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all this said, let's get started. Alright, let's start with the usual settings which is the essential windows settings for which you need to open up your settings section and then go over to the gaming part. Over here, click on Xbox game bar and make sure that the game bar is turned off. This will help you to increase your FPS since game bar is constantly running in the background and consuming your resources. Once you're done with that, go back to gaming and then go to game mode and make sure that game mode is enabled. This will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background allowing you to save a lot of processing power. Right beneath that you will find graphic settings. Click on the graphic settings and then click on change default graphic settings. Make sure to enable both of these options which will enable your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling which will reduce the latency and improve your performance and also you need to optimize your game for windowed mode. Both of them will help you to reduce your input latency as well as boost your FPS performance so make sure to do it. Go back to graphics and then this list of all of the applications which uses your GPU will be loaded on your computer right away. What you need to do is find Valorant in this list if not already added. You can click on browse and then go to the installation location of Valorant manually. Now most of you guys will already have Valorant in your local disk C. Go to live and add Valorant.exe. It is already added for me. Okay, once you find your Valorant, you need to go and click on options and then select on high performance. Similarly, go back to browse, go to shooter game, go to binaries, win64 and then Valorant win64 shipping. You need to add the same and once you added this, you'll find somewhere down beneath right over here. Click on options and then select high performance for the same. Once you're done with both of these options, go all the way down to Windows Update section and make sure that your Windows is always up to date. If you have any pending updates possible, make sure to download and install it since Windows keep fixing out all of their bugs with their new updates. So if any bug is causing FPS drops, it may be fixed. Once you're done with that, close your Windows settings and then move to the step number two that is de-animating your Windows. Windows by default has a lot of animations such as these ones and they consume consume a lot of processing power in the background. Now what you need to do is turn these animations off and for that you need to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows on your computer and once you're here simply click on adjust for best performance, click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts so you do not get the shitty look of your windows. It will still look the same but the animations will be disabled. Right after that go to the advanced section and make sure that the processor scheduling is set to programs. For many laptop users it could be set to background services. Once you're done with that simply click on OK. Now step number three is system configuration. This is mainly related to your boot. Simply press your windows and R key together and type in msconfig. Once you typed it in, you will open up the system configuration pop right in front of you. What you need to do is go over to the boot section, select the current and default OS, simply click on advanced option, click on number of processors and select the maximum number of processors available for your computer. This will help you to decrease your booting time and also increase your gaming performance in the long run. Simply click on OK, click on apply and then click on OK. Now click on exit without restart since we are going to restart our PC later. Step number 4 is defragging your disk and this is mainly your local disk C. What you need to do is open up your file manager and once you are here go to this PC. In this PC you need to find your local disk C or any drive which has the windows icon right over the disk. This is the disk in which you have your windows. What you need to do is right click, go to show more options, go to properties. Now select the tools section and then click on error checking and simply click on check. This will scan your drive if there are any errors possible for your drive. Once it is done, you will find if there are any errors you have to restart your PC. This may help fixing your stuttering and lagging issues if there are any errors with your local disk C. Another option is the optimize and defrag drive in which you need to click on optimize button, select your local disk C and simply click on optimize. Make sure not to turn on the defragging for your solid state drive as it 
may damage your drive. Only optimize your SSDs and for your hard disk, you can click on analyze and turn on the disk fragmentation. Fragmentation may help your hard disk to improve your performance. But if you are using an SSD like me, which you should use to increase your performance, if you have an SSD, simply click on optimize and let your PC optimize your SSD for better gaming experience. Step number five is using exit lag to fix all of your network problems. Let's say you have high ping, high packet loss, and you're facing internet issues. You can simply go to this website, click on get exit lag for completely free and open this application. Up. Now, once your exit lag opens up, you need to enable it by clicking on this button and right down beneath that you will find a list where you can pick any game. Exit lag offers you a list of over 300 games to choose from and one of which is Valorant. You need to simply search for it, select the nearest game region to you. As I live in India, I need to select the AE01 which is the closest region to me. And you guys can see I'm getting an estimated 30 to 33 milliseconds of ping right away. Simply click on apply routes and that will add Valorant to the recents list. The best part of exit lag is it also helps you to boost your FPS. What you need to do is click on the general section, enable the smart optimization and allow dual routes. Then click on FPS boost, enable the first, third, fourth, fifth, third last and last option and that will put all of the best settings available for your PC to boost the FPS. Now once again let me tell you that exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription to keep using exit lag. But you have an option to get 1 month, 12 month or 6 month subscription as per as your choice and if you go to the link in the description below you will get a flat 44 plus 10% off on any of the first purchase you make so make sure to go and choose it wisely. Once again exit lag is worth the money and you will get much higher performance if you keep using it. So you can just go and give it a try. Let's see exit lag helps you or not. Do leave that in the comment section down below. Step number six is creating a restore point. As it is really simple and it is important, I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step. Simply search for create a restore point on your system. Once you are here, you need to select your local disk C once again or the drive which has the Windows logo with it. Simply click on configure and make sure that turn on system protection is enabled. Then click on create and name it Valorant. Then simply click on create and let it do the job. This will create an image file on your computer in case of any emergency or data loss. You can always restore everything back so you do not have to face those consequences. Once it is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Step number seven is the Valorant episode seven FPS pack. I have customized and made this pack. Links are down in the description below. You can download and open it up. And once you're here, you need to open up the first folder, which is the CPU priority. You need to run the power efficiency registry. You can simply double click to run it, or you can simply right click, go to show more options, click on merge and run the power efficiency. This will improve your PC's power performance. Then you need to select your AMD or Intel CPU, whichever one you're using. Now, if you're unaware of it, you can simply search for system information on your PC. Look for your processor. I am using an AMD processor. It can be Intel for you. Also, take note of the installed physical memory for yourself. I have 32 GB because we are going to need it later. Now, I need to run the AMD CPU priority. If you have an Intel CPU, you can run the Intel CPU priority. Now, go back to the second folder, which is the Valorant priority. Now, whenever you are playing Valorant, you can simply set it to high priority. If you are facing any issues, you can set it to above normal priority and that will work fine. Just make sure that after playing Valorant, you need to set this to normal priority to make your system go back to normal. Otherwise, it will overheat a little bit. Now, the third folder is the RAM optimization folder and this is exactly why I told you to remember the RAM you're using. I am using 32 GB RAM. It can be different for you so I have left a lot of presets from which you can choose your RAM. I have also left a reset to default in case you don't like the performance. So you need to run the registry for the same. Lastly is the general optimization where I have left a batch file which helps you to clean your temporary files. You need to simply right click and run this as administrator. This will simply ask you to press any key to delete all of the temporary files. You can simply press any key and it will start deleting all of the unwanted and unnecessary files. Don't worry, this is completely safe. Lastly is disable pointer precision globally. Your mouse by default has pointer precision enabled. That means the drag you are getting on your mouse is much more than the drag you're putting on the desk. So you can simply run this registry and get rid of it and now you will get the real time drag of your mouse. Once you're done with the FPS pack, simply open up Valorant and then drop into the best in-game settings. 
Okay, once you're in your game, what you need to do is go over to the settings section and then on the general part, you need to make sure that raw input buffer is turned on and then go over to the video section and over here, make sure that your display mode is always set to full screen. You can always lower your resolution down to improve your FPS. Then for the monitor, make sure that it is your primary monitor and then go over to the graphics quality. Make sure that multi-threaded rendering is turned on if this option is showing for you. This option is only available for people who are using the processor with more than four cores. So if you're having more than four cores on your processor, if you have a quad core processor, this option will be available for you and using it will give you much better FPS. If this is not available for you, make sure to set everything to low and turn off and that will give you the best FPS possible on your game. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button since it really helps me out a lot also don't forget to check out more awesome guides i've created on my channel related to pc optimization and other games so we'll see you in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out